joining us today to help us celebrate um, Acorn Bar Mitzvah. I'd also like to thank my husband, Jonathan, who, even though he pretended that I did it all, really, he, he did a lot of hard work and, and helped um, to put this celebration together. And to Acorn's grandparents for all their support and their love. Um, when I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about in this speech, I wanted to focus on an aspect of Acorn's personality, um, his sensitivity to others. Aton really wants to make other people happy, and in all of Aton's years of school, I've never once gotten a call from a rabbi or a principal or a teacher saying Aton was mean to somebody, he was cruel, or he was disrespectful to a teacher. Never. I mean, he's 13, and it's a pretty good uh, you know, track record. Um, while I was thinking about this um, speech, I came across an article on um, the New York Times which described how about bullying and about how somebody made a Facebook page with somebody else's name and then used it to bully other children in the school. And I thought, like, somebody actually had to take their time and creativity to come up with this plan. It wasn't just like an impulsive thing, it was a plan. And I thought to myself how blessed I was that it would never even occur to Aton to do anything like this, even though he has plenty of creativity and intelligence to spare. Um, now, unfortunately, when you're a middle school age boy, being a sensitive person isn't exactly something that most people like put on their high priority list. Um, I mean, I watch Nickelodeon, and I know <laughs> say what the kids are like, and being snarky, and you know, putting down people um, seems to get a lot more attention. But Aton, I want to let you know that your good qualities have not gone unnoticed. There's a story about um, a rabbi in Hillel, a very famous rabbi, and a man went to Rabbi Hillel and he said, I want you to teach me the Torah while you stand on one foot. And if you do that, if you can do that, I'll convert to Jews, so I'll become a Jew. And instead of sending him away, Rabbi Hillel said, that which is hateful to others, do not do it to your neighbor. That is the entire Torah. The rest is commentary. Now go study. And I've always loved that story. It's one of my favorite things um, about Judaism is the idea that all of the mitzvot and all of the commandments are meaningless if you're a hateful person. And Eitan, you have so much love inside of you. You've just naturally incorporated this feeling inside of you. So as you learn all the mitzvot, it's, it's connected with truly loving other people and trying to be a kind person. I'm so proud of you. I, I'm so proud of that this is the kind of person that you are. And I'd like to thank all of Aton's teachers and rabbis um, and her Torah for helping him and helping us in our journey in raising Aton and teaching him how to become a mensch, um, which you did such, a, such an amazing job today. I am so proud of you, and I hope that you enjoy the celebration because you really deserve it. Thank you.